Arts Awards is a unique qualification where young people can build a whole program around what interests them. I chose to do Gold Arts Award because I'd be crazy to pass up an opportunity like that as a musician. There's a lot of stuff that will help me in my industry that I want to go into. I've met various industry contacts which will be fantastic for me. I've learned and I've also led music events. So I think it will be crazy for me to pass up an opportunity where I'm doing things that I love to do and also learning at the same time. I've got two units. The first unit is about their arts practice, creating a new piece of work, developing their skills, going to see work that inspires them and making those contacts in the creative industries. I'm doing fashion, so I've picked like what I want to do and at the end you have to do like a final piece. For example, I'm doing like I'm making a garment for a fashion show. I normally make films, music videos, things like that. So I wanted to try something really different and I wanted to do visual arts, uh, so I chose to do graffiti. For me, it was just finding how I can take influences, for example, like from jazz, and then um, putting that into my, my poetry as well, and finding what, what I can do with that. So, so I guess I, I would attend lots of spoken word, um, um, like open, open mic events, and I would go there and I would sit and listen, and just see um, how different they are to me, or how similar they are to, to myself. I'm volunteering to work with Fias Festival, which is a live art festival, and I'm reviewing things for them, I'm working with audio and podcast, um, I'm just getting immersing myself in loads of different art forms that I wouldn't have really known about otherwise. I think it's definitely helped with networking. For instance, I got the opportunity to work, go to Birmingham Opera Company volunteer, and there I met a mass range of people from like our age to like 70, and lots of them were involved in the arts as well as people that had nothing to do with the arts, and they. We networked with them and some of them were doing some work on a film at that time so I managed to get into being extra on one of their films. For my debate I, I decided to chose something that kind of means something to me and I chose to do female sizes in the media and decided to reflect on the size zero issue and how that affects young people and how the media makes portrays a certain image to be the right image. I decided to do a video for a minute because I didn't want to and talk, just talk myself, so I decided to do a video on it, taking different videos of opinions and putting it into one. Unit two is quite different. It's actually about creating a project where they can be a leader. So working with others, doing the risk assessments, the planning, working the budget, the marketing, and actually putting on quite a special event that they're responsible for. The biggest challenge for me was the time scale we had to do it in. We had a lot to do, risk assessments, going to various different meetings, organising, programming. And we had a very short time scale to get all of that done. As it was around Christmas time, we did a festive fringe and we organised like an event on a Saturday at BOA where children could come in and like decorate trees and have like Christmas cakes and stuff and for that we had to organise lots of meetings, think about health and safety, advertisement, how we'd get the news out there that there was something going on. For me there are many many benefits. I've met some fantastic industry professionals who I feel very privileged to be in contact with and keep on being in contact with and I'm sure I'll be in contact with them after Arts Award finishes. Uh, I've managed to even get some work experience in London at the Roundhouse. I think that the benefits for me of doing this Arts Award is to show that I'm not just a visual art and design person, I'm, I can show I can do a range of variety of art forms. I think Arts Awards helped me learn how to organise things by myself and not always rely on other people or other organisations. Top tips to anybody that wants to do their Arts Award. I would say anything that comes into your mind, write it down straight away because it can all be used as evidence. Be as creative as you want. Come up with an idea that you wouldn't normally do. Uh, try something different. Do as much research as you can. Go out there, get like as much photos to do with your chosen pathway as you can. Make sure you're dedicated and enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Just get out there, go and speak to people, push yourself, learn about your art form and just know no boundaries. Be ready for an element of independence. Uh, it's, it's something that won't be 
fed to you. She tries to remain dedicated and motivated because there is actually quite a lot you have to do for Art Award. Take any opportunity you get because you don't know what one opportunity can bring after that. Like you can meet so many people in one opportunity that you do. Prepare to have a good time because it is a, um, a great experience getting the Gold Art Award. I find home through the voice of Bob Marley as he tells me to not worry about a thing. And how can he be wrong when he's the king? The king of groove, the king of smooth, jam to a jam. His music is a part of me, it's a part of who I am. Helps me complete my plan, achieve what I can, what I want, what I will. I pray it's in God's will to succeed. Success.